okay so in real time you will have number of test cases right so for every file you will have many test cases like this now when you go to test underscore demo one dot py you have some test cases here so for all these test cases let's say if you are working on selenium python framework and for every test case you have to invoke browser so there are some fixtures which may be common to every files right and you can keep on declaring them in which files you need and then you will actually um, integrate that by passing that specific fixture and you will keep on running this so this is how generally people think of doing it because um, opening browser is required for every test case now we are attaching to this test underscore first program and when you run that you will see the same output okay so do you think there is some duplicate here you see that i will be executing first hello and last why are we duplicating our efforts by writing the same fixture code for every file so instead in python pytest framework there is one file called conf test okay that file you have to specifically define with that name only conf test this is the standard which you have to follow exactly to create that file so in that file if you declare your fixture then that fixture will be available to all the test files present in that specific folder okay when i say all the test files all pytest test files so how pytest test files are identified when you write any file with the test underscore name then at runtime it will treat that pytest test file okay and when declaring method make sure you put test keyword okay now you can actually delete all the fixtures whatever you have uh, written and then you can actually call all them from this conf test file and this is mandatory to have this file name like this import pytest right so because this browser invoking part is common for all the test cases right if you have some 100 test cases 100 test cases needs to invoke the browser then there is no point in uh, having this fixture connection to all the test cases whatever you defined so instead you can uh, pass this in one file and then directly call into any file required without duplicating efforts so i can call now here and you can also call it here earlier we have that code in this place right now i delete it but still code will run because whenever you run this test first of all pytest will check this argument setup and then it realize that this is some fixture and it will check in its local file whether that setup fixture is present or not if it is not present then it will go to conf test file and it will check whether conf test file is present if it is present then it will go to that file and it will check in this file as well yes if it is found in that file then it will execute simple similarly for this also so i removed it from here if i don't write it here it will check first in the local file and then in the conf test file as it is found there it will tie up and run so in this way we can reduce the code and make it more optimized by placing your fixtures in conftest.py so in what scenario you have to place it you have to place them in conftest only when you think that particular fixture is shared by multiple files okay when you think that fixture is required by a number of files then instead you can place it in one place here in conftest.py and it will be automatically available to all the files now if you want to run this um, particular test you can actually run from terminal or it's up to you that's why in some lectures i am showing terminal and some lectures i am showing from pycharm you see that i will be executing first i will be executing last so fixer got executed even after you remove it from here so i hope now you understood the importance of conf test so let me write out notes whatever we di discussed till now 
fixtures are used for setup and used as setup and they are down method for test cases conf test file to generalize fixture Oops. fixture and make it available to all test cases so this notes is very important because you might remember you might not remember everything what we discussed till now as it as you are seeing it for first time you have to revise again to remember all the concepts either if you take notes or if you have this document like this you can quickly go through each and every point and understand whatever you learned till now instead of going back and seeing the video again so that's the whole point for me to prepare this notes okay next we know how to generalize and now the problem is let's say in fixture demo only i am creating multiple test cases we know that one file can have multiple test cases like this so demo 1 demo 2 demo 3 yeah there are different test cases like this okay so if you have multiple test cases like this today there are four here tomorrow you might have some 20 test cases here so in every test case we were passing our fixture name setup setup so if there are n number of test cases you write in this pytest file for every file we are passing this fixture right so can't we optimize this yes we can so if you wrap all these methods in class then you can just declare this fixture on class level so that it will be automatically applied to each and every method of that class okay in that way you can remove it from here let's see so let me define class test example something you can say and for proper indentation you hack you have to uh, make sure they are properly aligned okay sorry so just follow me you will understand what I'm trying to do here right so if you wrap them under a class now you can remove all these fixtures whatever you have defined because I am just going to directly declare them globally so when you declare method in any class the mandatory parameter is self I hope you have gone through my python basics lecture in that I have clearly explained uh, when I am creating uh, um, classes let me show you that specific uh, file I hope you are aware but uh, yeah here you see that when you declare a class for each and every method we had make sure that self is the mandatory parameter to pass and if you want to call any variables or anything you can only call them with self dot okay similarly as we are wrapped under class make sure you pass self as instance don't worry about fixture I will bring that into picture now um, too many blank lines okay let's remove one and here also self okay so instead of passing here I can declare one annotation pytest dot mark dot use fixtures so this is the annotation in this pass the fixture name that's it so when you give this it will be automatically applied to all the methods present in your class so you can 
get rid of passing this self. So when you run this test now, the fixer should apply pre-request and post-request and it should run accordingly. All right, let's see. Perfect. You see that? For every test I will be executing first, I will be executing last. And next one I will be executing first, fixture demo 1 is printed. And for all that pre-request and post-request got printed. So in this way you can get rid of passing the fixture for every method if you wrap all your test cases under class. So this is a good standard of doing it. And when we are developing framework in our next sections, we will wrap all our test cases like this in class. And one more thing. So if you want to run your fixture only once before the class, but not before each and every test case, there can be requirement, right? Like you just want to delete cache and you have to start executing all the test cases present in this class. So you want to run that pre-request setup just before execution of any test case in the class. And once in the last, after all the test cases are executed, you want to run teardown which is nothing but yield. This will run after all your test cases is executed. But the current configuration how we have defined is like it will run before every test. It's like before test annotation in test ng. So if you want to make them run only once before the class and after all the test cases executed in the class, then you need to simply go to your fixture argument where you have created in your conf test and here say scope equals to class that's it so when you say like this and when this fixture is being called here it will read that scope and then understand that is that fixture scope is in only class level so i will only run once before the class is initialized and once after all test cases in that class being executed okay so now when you run this test you will see that only once I will be executing first and at the last after all your test cases are executed you will see at the end saying I will execute last okay so this is how you can tweak with your pytest fixtures if you are aware of JUnit or testng this annotation is like before class when you put scope equals to class so don't worry, practical usage of this I will show when we are um, designing Selenium framework. But understand the concept in this section. Using this concept, we will build the framework. Alright, we'll continue in our next lecture. Thank you.